all's not well with Britain's economy. The International Monetary Fund says the UK's economy would fare worse than any other developed country in the last year. It actually forecasts a negative growth of 0.6% for the UK. Russia too is predicted to record positive growth. The IMF's revised numbers predict minus 0.6 growth for the UK this year and 0.9% growth in 2024. Britain's the only developed world economy forecast to slide into recession this year. The IMF predicted that UK household spending would falter under the weight of high energy prices, rising mortgage costs and increased taxes. Russia is predicted growth at 0.3%. Revised forecasts for Germany and Italy put them in the green too. The IMF's revised projections put pressure on British Finance Minister Jeremy Hunt to come up with a growth plan. Well, for more on this, we're joined by Hilary Ingham, UK economist, uh, economist at Lancaster University, joining us live from Lytham. Um, Hilary, many thanks for joining us. These are pretty stark numbers for the UK economy. And of course, many people will be asking, why is it so bad in the UK compared with the news elsewhere? Yes, it is rather depressing that, uh, you know, we've got such a gloomy growth forecast. And I think, you know, as you said in your report, the fact that we're even going to be outperformed by Russia will be quite a shock to some people. I mean, we've got the same sort of problems as other countries have got, but we seem to be suffering from them worse. So our inflation rate is you know among the worst in Europe and the government is obviously committed to tackling this and Jeremy Hunt has said until inflation is under control he's not looking to sort of you know give us tax breaks and so we've had a series of quite steep interest rate increases it looks like we're going to get another one this Thursday and of course these interest rate increases are affecting mortgage rates and that is really stifling the housing market you know, the cost of living crisis is very severe in this country. We've got rising energy prices like everywhere else. But we've got incredible food inflation. You know, some prices are going up by, say, 30 percent. So we, we really are suffering quite severely. And of course, we've got the overhang, some of which is due to Brexit, that we've got labour shortages. So in some cases, our employers are having to offer quite big wage increases if they want to fill vacancies. And as I'm sure is widely reported, you know, we've got a sort of raft of strikes throughout the public sector. So at the minute, the UK economy really isn't looking into healthier states. And it looks like this is going to continue uh, for the rest of the year. And of course, that puts pressure on the UK politicians, Rishi Sunak, Jeremy Hunt. Is there anything that they can do to to change things and to improve the economic outlook? I think they're in a, a very difficult situation because on the one hand, you know, there are people in the Conservative Party, actually quite a lot of MPs who would like to push for tax cuts, you know, maybe not with the sort of generosity that Liz Truss was going to afford everybody, but they would like tax cuts. You know, Conservatives are a low tax party. But at the same time, you know, Jeremy Hunt has said he's committed to stabilising the economy and getting this inflation rate down. And although we know that it is falling, you know, it's still over 10 percent. So it is way, way above target. So I think in the short term, that is going to be what they are focusing on. I don't see any big giveaways for either consumers or firms until that inflation rate comes more under control. Hilary Ingham, economist at Lancaster University, many thanks for your insight. Thank you. Bye.